I'm making a sardine salad sandwich and this was very very popular during the Great Depression because sardines were cheap. I'm using um, a can of boneless sardines, some iceberg lettuce, quarter of a lemon, one finely chopped stalk of celery, and I'm going to add this zesty citrus herb which we like to add to our fish dishes but you can add any seasoning you want but we like this and these sardines are packed in oil these look very good I'm going to mash up now the sardines like I mash up tuna Mm. Sometimes you could feed sardines to people and they will think it's tuna and they don't know the difference. Since there's already olive oil in the sardines, I'm adding lemon juice. You could add mayonnaise if you want, but since it has the oil, I don't think it's necessary. Now I'm adding the celery. And I guess if you didn't have a stalk of celery, you could probably add some celery seed. And that would be as just as good. Or chopped onion also. It would be good with chopped onion if you like. And some people also like hot sauce. Okay, now I'm going to add this the herb to it. This is onion, garlic pieces. And this it's very, very good. Red, red bell pepper, tomato, black pepper, parsley, thyme, celery seed, oregano, mustard seed, cumin. So it has a lot of good spices for you. Now we'll put the sandwich together. I'm making the sandwich on toast with first putting some iceberg lettuce and then adding the sardines. I'm adding half the sardines because this would make two sandwiches. Now, if I would, were made, adding a tomato, what I would do is I would put the tomato down and put the lettuce over the tomato and then the bread because that will keep the um, bread from getting soggy. And it would be also good with pickles. How's it taste, Grandpa? Tastes like tuna, really good. Delicious. See? I tricked Grandpa today. He thinks his sandwich was tuna. And now he, he really doesn't like sardines, but he's enjoying his sandwich today.